Hello everyone. Today let's learn iFit, an in-band floor measurement technology. iFit is an IETF standard measurement protocol proposed by Huawei and the industry's first complete solution for in-band floor quality detection and floor demarcation. This course introduces iFit by covering its technical background, technical advantages, fundamentals, application scenarios, and future development. To begin with, I'd like to break up the technical background of iFit into two aspects. The evolution of network services and network architecture and the disadvantages of traditional network ONM methods. In a 5G and cloud era, the development of 5G has given rise to new services, such as HD video, VR, and Internet of Vehicles. In addition, cloudification of network devices and services has become a common choice for facilitating unified management and reducing ONM costs. The new services and architecture pose higher reliability requirements for transmission links on existing bare networks. The industry has been exploring various network ONM technologies, which can be classified as out-of-band and in-band measurement. Assume that service floors on a network are like vehicles driving down a lane. Traditional out-of-band measurement such as TWAMP, which measures network performance by inserting props into service floors, is similar to setting fixed points for monitoring along the lane. This method has its blind supports and cannot reflect actual forwarding paths of service floors. In contrast, in-band measurement, which measures network performance by marking real service floors, is more like installing a positioning module on each vehicle. This method can accurately measure the packet loss and delay of service floors in real time. As for existing in-band measurement technologies, the earliest proposed IPFPM colors IP packet headers directly, offering a significant improvement in measurement precision. However, this solution is complex to deploy and has poor extensibility. Although the more recent IOAM simplifies deployment, its data collection method where each node records the collected data in packets and egress reports the data in a centralized manner, burdens the forwarding plan of a device. Against this backdrop, Huawei proposed in-suit floor information telemetry, an in-band technology that measures network performance by inserting iFit headers into real service packets. It makes up for the disadvantages of the preceding technologies and significantly improves the efficiency and effectiveness of network ONM. Now, let's cover the advantages of iFit in terms of measurement data, service scenarios, GUI, and intelligent ONM. To begin with, iFit is implemented based on real service packets it can restore the actual forwarding paths of packets and accurately measure performance indicators for each service from multiple dimensions such as packet loss, delay, and out-of-order packets. The precision of packet loss measurement can reach 10 to the negative 6, and that of delay measurement can reach microseconds iFit can detect almost all silent faults and locate them within seconds. In addition, iFit configurations can be delivered network-wide to devices in just one click. It can automatically learn forwarding paths 
and is compatible with iFit incapable devices, enabling them to transparently transmit iFit floors. In addition, iFit supports Layer 2 and Layer 3 networks as well as multiple terminal types. In general, iFit can flexibly adapt to a large-scale and multiple-type service scenarios. iFit also provides visualized ONN capabilities. Users can deliver different monitoring policies as required through the GUI of iMaster NCIP to implement routine ONM and quick troubleshooting. Furthermore, iFit can work with telemetry, big data analytics, and intelligent algorithms to build an intelligent ONM system. Specifically, iMaster NCEIP converts a user-configured monitoring policy into device commands that it delivers to devices. The devices then generate E2E or hop-by-hop iFit measurement instances and report collected data through telemetry. iMaster NCEIP processes the data based on the big data platform and displays the results on its GUI. In addition, iMaster NCEIP implements risk prediction and path optimization based on intelligent algorithms. The intelligent ONM system constructed based on the four technologies can implement proactive anomaly detection, fast forward demarcation and locating, and self-healing, enabling it to adapt well to future network evolution. So, how does iFit have such powerful technical advantages? Let's take a look at its fundamentals by using iFit over SRE6 as an example. First, let's look at the structure of the iFit header. An iFit header is encapsulated into an SRH and consists of the following parts. Floor instruction indicator, which identifies the beginning of an iFit header and defines its overall length. Floor instruction header, which uniquely identifies a service floor and provides basic coloring capabilities. Floor instruction extension header, which defines extended functions such as per packet measurement and out of order measurement. Specifically, iFit implements packet loss and delay measurement by alternately coloring service packets. Coloring refers to marking packets for specific measurement, which iFit does by setting the packet loss coloring bit L or delay coloring bit D to 0 or 1. In the following example, service packets enter the network through PE1 and leave the network through PE2. By calculating the difference between the number of packets on ingress and that on egress, within a measurement period. You can obtain packet loss indicators of the service floor. The measurement period on egress needs to be extended to prevent out-of-order packets from affecting the measurement result. The delay of the service floor can be obtained by calculating the difference between the timestamps of the ingress and egress. IFID supports both E2E and TRAS modes. The E2E mode applies to scenarios where overall service quality monitoring is required, whereas the TRAS mode applies to scenarios where fast forward locating is required for services. In E2E measurement, an IFID measurement point needs to be deployed only on the egress to trigger measurement and iFit just needs to be enabled on egress. In this case, only the ingress and egress are aware of iFit packets and report measurement data, and transient nodes perform bypass processing. 
interest measurement and outfit measurement point needs to be deployed on ingress to trigger measurement. And iFit needs to be enabled on all iFit capable nodes along the service floor path. In real world applications, the two modes are used together. When the E2E iFit measurement data reaches the threshold, Trace iFit is automatically triggered. iFit data is sent through telemetry. After a user subscribes to the data source of a device, the device collects measurement data based on configuration requirements and encapsulates the data into telemetry packets for reporting. In addition to common content such as floor ID and error information, the data to be sent contains information specific to the floor type. For example, for a specific floor used to measure a specific service, the sent measurement data also contains detailed information, such as five tuple and DSCP information. For an aggregation floor used to measure the overall E2E flow status, the sent measurement data contains information such as peer information. Next, to demonstrate the strong practicability of iFit, I will introduce how iFit is applied in IPRAN mobile barrel network, intelligent cloud network, private line service and why financial one scenarios. First, for IPRAM mobile barrel networks, Huawei proposes an E2E ESQM plus Trust iFit hybrid measurement solution. In this solution, E2E ESQM is performed first. Hop by hop iFit is triggered when the performance indicator of a base station floor exceeds the specified threshold. Users can monitor detailed indicators of different service floors, such as base station floors, data floors, and signaling floors, and obtain network-wide base station data in real time, improving network ONM efficiency. For intelligent cloud network private line services, Huawei proposes an E2E iFit plus trans iFit measurement solution to provide VPN service analysis and assurance. In this solution, E2E iFit is performed first. Hop by hop iFit is triggered when the performance indicator of a VPN floor exceeds the specified threshold. Users can query for the quality indicator of a VPN service floor by granularity ranging from minutes to years, and for overall E2E VPN service information by the VPN name or type, and so on. Implementing multi-dimensional intelligent ONM. Finally, for one financial one, Huawei proposes an iFit terminal level measurement solution. In this solution, one core controller is deployed to perform centralized ONM on the entire financial network and implement E2E management and scheduling. iFit can select the optimal link by measuring the quality of each SRV6 segment list. The link currently in use is periodically compared with optimal link to optimize route selection. Implementing Intelligent Traffic Theory So, what space does iFit have for future development? The 5G and cloud era is driving the development of IP networks toward IPv6 enhanced innovation. In the future, IP networks will need three features. Intelligent Ultra Broadband, Intelligent Connection, and Intelligent ONM. As one of the core technologies for intelligent ONM, iFit is an important part of IPv6 enhanced innovation. Facing new intelligent ONM requirements and challenges 
brought by the codification of various industries and intelligent connectivity of everything. Huawei will continuously improve the measurement position and promote automatic deployment, broadening the application of iFit. Let's quickly review what we have covered so far. First, we explain how the evolution of network services and network architecture and disadvantages of traditional network ONM methods lead to iFit before presenting its technical background. We then explain the technical advantages of iFit covering its high precision measurement, flexible application to scenarios, intuitive GUI and intelligent ONM. Next, we used iFit or SRV6 as an example to briefly explain the fundamentals of alternate coloring, E2E and hop-by-hop -hop measurement modes, and telemetry-based data reporting. We then moved on to the application of iFit in mobile barrier network, intelligent cloud network, and one financial one scenarios to demonstrate the strong practicability of iFit. Finally, we laid out a future vision of iFit to promote intelligent ONM in IPv6 enhanced innovation era. That's all for this course. Thank you for watching.